Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. This is the first official vlog of the year. I vlogged when my friends came, so that kind of went through the new year. But today is like the real start of the new year. I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself to, you know, kind of do this whole reset at the first of the year. I mean, technically the second, because that's when my friends left. But I just, I don't know. I think I'm a little bit overwhelmed because of the pressure I'm putting on myself. So I think I'm just gonna like slowly kind of get into it. I want to do like a Sunday reset vlog. So I'll try to film that this Sunday and just kind of get into it slowly because not everyone wants to just, you know, hit the ground running, which I did, but I don't know. My brain was just not for it. So today we are gonna make a smoothie because I just have fruit that's going bad. I'm gonna use pineapple, gonna use some spinach, banana, and some milk. I am lactose intolerant, so I drink this H-E-B lactose milk. I'm sorry if you hear those little paws, that's my dog. Okay, so I'm gonna put my pineapple in. I did wanna give a quick intro about myself because I feel like I got a couple new followers over Vlogmas, so thought I would do that while I'm making my smoothie. Um, so I live in Austin, Texas. I turned 24 in November, and what else? I work as a content creator for a student housing company. That's my part-time job, and then on the side, I do freelance photography and videography. And then I also do, you know, YouTube, Instagram, influencing and all of that stuff. So my mind is always running. It never stops. And I feel like that is something I want to get better about in the new year is just kind of, you know, creating that work-life balance. And I feel like I've been kind of uh, doing a good job with the new year rolling around. Also because I feel like things are just like slow at work and also slow with um, YouTube because I just did Vlogmas. So if you guys want to know a lot about me, you can definitely go binge all those videos. I was actually at home. So you'll get to meet my family and all of that stuff. I have a boyfriend, his name's Ryan and we have been dating since 2013. So our sophomore year of high school and yesterday was actually our uh, eight year anniversary. So tonight we are actually celebrating it. Um, yesterday we made steaks and had a really nice night and we watched Kissing Booth 2, that was my choice. I always make him like watch romantic comedies because I just love them so much. Um, it was like an okay movie. I just saw the first one so I felt like I had to see the second one. Um, but tonight we are going to Uchiko and that's one of the main reasons I wanted to vlog today because it's just like maybe not a once in a lifetime experience but I feel like we have definitely had this on our list for a long time. It's a more expensive sushi restaurant so we wanted to like save it for you know a special occasion like our anniversary. Okay this is my boyfriend. He's currently working. He works in tech sales. <laughs> um, no, I don't have to work today because I have a part-time job and I don't work on Fridays. So um, this is like my content day. And what was I saying? Um, yeah, we're going to Uchiko at 6 p.m. and their happy hour ends at 6.30. So I'm a big happy hour girl. Any way I could like save a couple of dollars here and there and like eat more, I'm all for it. Also, my ethnicity is Indian. I feel like I'm always really curious about people's ethnicities. If I remember any other fun facts throughout the day, I'll definitely let you guys know, but time to make this smoothie. Taste test time. I feel like there could have been more pineapple, but it's still really good. I just started using pineapple in my smoothies because I like cut a pineapple for the first time ever alone. Big props. I can't even snap my finger. Notice how I did that. Yeah, another fun fact. Don't know how to snap my finger. I'm currently obsessed with the color green and I've been wanting to make a perfect green smoothie slash drink. And I feel like this is really good. <laughs> I'm also wearing a pimple patch right now and these things are like saving my life Not that I'm breaking out that much But just when I have like those pesky little things that come up out of nowhere Even if I'm washing my face, I just pop one on and it just literally disappears um, They're from Rael and they are just so freaking good. You barely can see it I don't know if you can see it. I can really see myself. It's 10 47 a.m. This morning I've been working on editing my vlog from when my friends came in. It was a whole three-day adventure throughout Austin So I wanted to kind of just really make it graphic heavy and like 
hopefully make it really searchable for people who are wanting to visit Austin. And then now I'm working on like a blog post that has all my favorite places to eat in Austin. Don't know if I'm actually gonna finish this because it's just like a lot. Like I've lived here for almost two years in June and I'm a big foodie. So I've been to a lot of places so far and I still have not been to all of them because there's just so many here in Austin. There's always something new popping up. Like this Sunday, there's this, I think it's like a Japanese sandwich pop-up kind of thing and I really wanna try it out. So I signed up for the email and they're gonna like, you know, text you or email you the menu or something or where they're gonna be. So I really wanna try that out. I think I'm gonna shut up now. I feel like I've been talking a lot. I'm gonna drink my perfect green smoothie and get back to work. I wanna say it's been like 30 minutes since I last talked to you guys and I feel like I haven't done anything because I am struggling with having way too much going on in my mind, like I said, but also feeling like everything that pops up into my mind is urgent and then I have to get it done then, but then something else comes up and then I'm like, that's so much more important because blah, blah, blah. For example, I was, what was I doing? I think, okay, first I was like posting on Instagram and I was just like taking pictures of my smoothie. And I was like, wait, this would be a good post to post on Instagram. Let me do it now because it's a smoothie. And I was like, it should like go up in the morning, you know, cause that's like a morning thing. And then I went accidentally <laughs> pressed on my photography account, realized I got like six followers this morning slash last night. And like that, I feel like that's kind of random. So I was like, wait, I should post on my account because I have not even posted on that freaking photography account in, let's see, five days. So now <laughs> I have to go and see what I should post, which I have like a good amount of pictures that I need to post. But it's just like, which one will look good? And on my photography account, I used to um, do like the same session all across like the row. So like there would be three pictures of every session. But I feel like that was like the main reason why I never wanted to post on it because it was so hard coming up with captions for all these same looking photos, if that makes sense. And this will be a test to see if my editing's consistent. Um, so hopefully it is. <laughs> but... Let's see, I don't know what to post. I don't really want to post because I don't know what the frick to caption it. I feel like it's easier to caption like my own photos because that's my personal life, but like, I don't know. I just, there's not much to say about like the photo sessions and like they were so long ago, I can't even remember them and I don't know. So that is what I'm doing. I'm almost done with my green smoothie. Took a lot of cute pictures of it because I was very proud of like the color and it's really good. It's mainly like a banana smoothie. I didn't have as much pineapple as I thought I would, but it's still really good. It's currently 12.30 and I just made my lunch. It is these like little enchiladas and they're actually keto. They're two grams of carbs per serving. And let's see, the, oh yeah, the whole container is, one serving so there's like two little enchiladas let me try to show you guys and it's pretty much like a cheese enchilada so it's not like a tortilla or anything but they have like beef in it so it's pretty filling and you know it makes you feel um full because obviously there's protein in it so i'm going to eat this also i want to do low carb again but i feel like that's a big commitment i really don't think i'm ready for it because i feel like there's so many other restaurants that i still want to try in austin before i maybe like make that decision to do that again. But that doesn't mean I can't still eat like low carb thing. I've also had these before, they're really good. They're kind of small though. You know, I feel like a third one would be great, but maybe this is good like portion control. So I'm gonna eat my lunch. This day is going too fast. It's currently almost 2 p.m. and I'm gonna get ready finally. And I'm gonna use this little razor. It's time for a little cleanup of this shit. But you're not gonna with that what? thick one. Don't cut that. Why? It's, it will really leave the worst bumps. Are you serious? No, I don't I don't get bumps. I've done it before. No, no, you do. I see them. Get out of here. Wish me luck. I'm going in. I'll go ahead and link these. I actually just found them on Amazon. Super cheap. They're just like face razors. And if you're wondering if my hair grows back thicker, no, it just grows back. <laughs> I love the way my skin feels after I do it because my foundation goes on so smooth and I just don't have any peach fuzz so this tool is amazing and I honestly do it maybe like once every month maybe twice if I'm feeling you know like I want to do it but 
usually only once a month. I've actually gotten my sideburns threaded before and obviously it was very painful because, you know, threading is painful. Um, so I just decided to just go ahead and do that and plus it saves me money. And like I said, it doesn't grow back really thicker or anything like that. I'm really sad because the foundation that I've been using, I'm not really sure where it is. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. It is a little too dark for me right now because I have my winter color, you know? Um, so I had to go back to my L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Glow, which is honestly so good. Um, and it's nice to kind of have a break from your favorite foundation because then when you go back to it, you realize, oh my God, it's so good. Honestly, I might just get like a shade lighter in the Airbrush Flawless foundation just because it's so good. Like I love the formula on that one, but I love the color on this one. So today we're just gonna use L'Oreal Invaluable and I'm gonna try to wear sunscreen more this year because I never do and it's so bad. I know my mom has hyperpigmentation and I really don't wanna get it. And I've been seeing like a little bit of dark spots come up, like little mini ones. And I'm just like worried that they're gonna get bigger. So I really just need to wear sunscreen and just incorporate it into my skincare routine. I don't know why it's like such a struggle for me to remember it. I should probably just put the sunscreen near like all my skincare in my bathroom instead of my makeup drawer. That's probably smarter. A lot of YouTubers have taken a hiatus after Vlogmas, including me pretty much. I mean, I didn't really mean to like I vlogged one of my friends were here I just felt like there wasn't really much to vlog although I really wanted to vlog because there was nothing in my subscription box and I was really sad because I wanted to watch all these YouTube videos because I wasn't really you know editing and I actually had the time to watch YouTube and I already watched so many people's vlogmases and I feel like even if I did skip a day I don't want to like go back you know so I've been really trying to branch out and watch smaller youtubers so for example, I've been really into watching just like productive day vlogs because of the new year and I'm just like wanting to feel productive. I'm not really feeling that way. So I was hoping that the vlogs would like give me motivation. And I found this girl named Caitlin, I wanna say like Caitlin Nola or something like that, but her vlogs are so cute. She's so cute. She um, does like a lot of like health and wellness and stuff, but she's I think still in college. so. She does a lot of lifestyle and I like a good mix of both because sometimes I'm in the mood for content about, you know, health stuff and fitness, but then most of the time I'm not. <laughs> so it's nice that she does like a little sprinkle of it here and there, but doesn't make all of her content all about that, you know? So I'll have a link to her channel down below because I'm always looking for new YouTubers to watch. So if you do end up watching her video, definitely go comment that I sent you guys. So that would be really cool. I'm trying to think of other people I found over the break. I feel like that was the main person and I actually did go back and watch her Vlogmas just because I was new to her channel and I just want to like get to know her kind of thing. That's kind of weird sounding, but you know what I mean. If you watch YouTube, you get it. I was actually just pulling up my YouTube to watch some videos while I do my makeup and I saw that another one of my new favorite YouTubers posted. I've known about her for a while and I've been subscribed to her for a while, but her vlogmas was so good. Her name's Peyton Sartin and she is actually from Texas, um, but now lives in LA with um, TK. It's like Alicia's Alicia Marie's assistant. So her life seems really interesting and she's gorgeous, has like literally the best body ever and she's body goals. Her content is very aesthetically pleasing and very like chill too. She's like a just a chill girl. Now I'm gonna get back to watching her vlog. Makeup is done and now I just have to do my hair. I think I'm gonna curl it and I've been curling my hair a little bit differently so I'll show you guys that. Ryan just went to the office and picked up some packages and I'm a little impatient, so I wanna know what's in them. So, let's do a little unboxing. Some stuff from Kalia by Carrie Underwood. And let's see what I got. I think they already sent me this, but you know, I'll take more little black tanks. It's always good to have. And then this one is kind of like a ribbed black tank. It's cute. I feel like it's perfect because sometimes I want to wear like just a sportswear on my leggings but then I don't feel like as confident as I thought I would so just having like a little loose uh, tank top is perfect for running outside or just doing all that and me and Ryan have actually been 
being very active this past week, the first week of 2020, which is very exciting because that's what I want to do. You know, I obviously want to be active. It's hard. It's easier said than done because, you know, you just have to have the motivation to do it. Okay, so I got some more stuff from Briogeo. I think I already have this because I did a sponsored post with them, but maybe it's some extra stuff too. Let's see. Their packaging is really cute. It's like a little hair fitness. 90s box situation. I got extra of their conditioner and shampoo. I just did a sponsored post and I've been using this for a month now. I personally really like it and it's always nice to have, you know, more shampoo. Okay, let's see what this is. It's a little mini deep conditioning mask. How cute. I've never seen this one before. This is the strengthening treatment oil. Kind of curious to see what this smells like. I don't think I can smell anything, <laughs> but it's so many. Don't mind this phone and tripod situation, but I wanted to just demonstrate how I do my hair. So I have been using a, not wand, this is a curling iron with like a clamp and everything. I want to say this is like one inch and a half, if I'm correct, and I, I don't know where I got this thing. Oh, it's Infinity Pro by Conair, so I feel like I got it at like Walmart or Target or something like that. Uh, but you take a section, I should probably like separate my hair, that would probably be easiest, but you want to make sure this is in the front. So you kind of put the hair in between it and while you're clamping down, you want to like rotate it. So then like pull it and like loosen it and just kind of hold it on there for a little bit. I'm like such a bad teacher when it comes to this stuff, but I'm gonna try to teach you guys. So hold it and then just twist it again, like loosen it, loosen it a little, twist it again. Same thing, oh, hello. Let's try this again. So we're gonna go clamp to the front, twist while clamping down, then loosen, then twist, then loosen and twist. <laughs> and loosen and twist and honestly i've been curling all the way down i haven't really taught myself how to like let the ends out probably easy but i just need to like look up a youtube tutorial on it so then you just like let it fall but if you wanted to do beach waves which honestly let's do beach waves today so if you want to do beach waves you would just kind of like okay never mind all right never mind we'll just do that for now we will do the bottoms as like actual curls and then I'll just do the tops as beach waves. All right, I'm gonna grab one from the top and we're gonna do the beach waves. So clamp in the front, put your hair in the middle between the clamp and the wand, twist while clamping down, loosen a little bit and then turn, but like we're not gonna turn right away. So just keep it on the top of that piece of hair for a little bit and then Turn a little loosen, loosen a little bit, just kind of pull it down a little bit and then we're gonna release that top section. And that is how you get the beach wave. So you're gonna turn again, loosen, turn again. And we're gonna let that stay on a little bit. And you're gonna loosen that and then you can let it go here because you kind of want that piece to be straight. So there we go. You got a little beach wave and when you brush it out, it'll look really good. So this is what it looks like after I curl my hair. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite texturizing hairspray from Way. There's like nothing in here. I'm so sad about it. Perfect for just like that beachy texture. So I'm gonna film a video on my phone so I can get it all at once for this TikTok. If I ever post it, I have a really bad habit of like filming things for TikTok and never posting them because it's not like directly on the app. I just film it on my phone and then like have to edit it later. So I need to stop doing that, but I'm also just, it's just annoying to edit in TikTok. Like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna do this really quick. All right, so this is what it looks like after I use this spray and just kind of like put my fingers through it a little bit. It's 4.42 and I'm already ready for date night. 
I had like the whole day to get ready, which was super nice. But I'm wearing this dress from Shop Red Dress. I'm really sorry if the back is a mess. I tried to clean it up, but it's something about it. It just like looks really cluttered. Um, but let me show you in the mirror. So this is what the dress looks like. It's so cute. And in the back, it has like a low back situation slash like all these like ribbons. But I don't know. They're just kind of all like clumped up back there. I think that's better. I don't know. But yeah, that's more casual. It looks cute. It looks very cute. Every year for our anniversary, I try to take a picture with Ryan, obviously for Instagram and just, you know, for the memories, but we did not do that this year. I actually planned to have a photo shoot with my photographer friend. I think it was like before we went home or something. No, it was, um, no, yeah, it was before we went home and then it got switched to like the third. So I was excited because I would have something to post on January 7th, which was our anniversary, but we had to postpone that. So I think we're doing that like in February. It's just like another photographer and her boyfriend. So we're just gonna like swap couple photos. So I'm really excited about that because I feel like I never get other people to take our photos. It's always like on a self timer or something. And it's just like, it's not, you know, ideal, but we make do with it. Well, I make do with it. <laughs> he doesn't really care about the photos, but um, anyways, I was just thinking maybe we should just take one in our living room, you know, Ryan gets off at 5 p.m. Our reservation's at 6, and I don't want to go any later because happy hour ends at 6.30. So I want to be there like right at our reservation time. And I was thinking we could like go take a picture somewhere like outside, but I can't think of anywhere. And I kind of don't want to like deal with that right now. And it's kind of cold outside. So we might just take it inside. <laughs> but I'm going to set up the camera and like see what it looks like and test it on me while Ryan's finishing up the book. We just took our anniversary pictures in the house and we weren't really satisfied, so we might do it again tomorrow. They're cute, they're just like not anniversary cute, you know what I mean? But we were just like, might as well just wait another day because we didn't even really post on our anniversary, if that makes sense. Um, but tonight, I don't even know if I told you guys, but we're going to Uchiko, which is like the number one sushi restaurant in Austin. Other than Uchiko, like some people say Uchiko's better. Uchi. Sorry, Uchiko. Uchi, Uchi is better. But other people say Uchiko is better, and Uchi they're like sister. Better presented. They're sister restaurants, right? I don't know. One's that famous owner. It's like made Loro with Franklin. Yeah. yeah, it's it's. I feel like Austin like always has like famous chefs that go to another restaurant and then make that restaurant famous. Or Does that make sense? Make more restaurants in there. Yeah. So, anyways, I think Uchiko's a little bit more affordable and like you get more bang for your buck kind of thing so maybe that's why people like it a little more so we're gonna try that tonight we've been wanting to try it for so long um and we thought we would just do it on our anniversary well yesterday was it our anniversary but you get the gist it's friday night. yes it's friday night and it's the weekend all right you want to show them your outfit sure okay let's do it so this top coat is waterproof. It's Lululemon from the outlet. <laughs> this is Bonobos going on sale. Cotton Oxford, not tucked in. These are Target <laughs> pants, uh, Joseph A. Banks socks, and Clark's derby shoes. Have these shoes forever. Cute, cute fit. All right, let's head out. home from dinner and I wanted to give my thoughts on Uchiko. We went during happy hour and there was a lot of good things on their happy hour menu that was probably almost double the price on the regular menu yeah. and so we saved a freak ton of money doing that. I could definitely eat more food. Yeah, I think me too. And their rolls were surprisingly cheap even on their main menu. They were really good. Like they didn't have too much on top of them so they weren't as filling as some of the specialty rolls that you would see at other places but they were really good and just like everything was really refreshing and i'm just so happy we finally went because i'm definitely going back there like even if it's not our anniversary that place was especially during happy hour it can be affordable i feel like yeah we didn't get alcohol in that one tuna thing yeah the tuna bucks. 
one of the tuna ones like that had like what seven slices six slices yeah, was 50 19. bucks itself so if we got if we didn't get that and then the drinks were nine dollars under happy hour that's like 70 bucks off for a tab mm -hmm. so now we know what we like there and what we should go back for and all of that but since we did have a little room in our tummies we did get gordo's donuts to end the night and our Fake anniversary yesterday was it, but you know, today's our real anniversary because we didn't want to celebrate on a weekday, you know. We like That's the true. weekends, so we got the the pudding. The pudding. Yeah. Yeah, I'm banana pudding? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, I guess it's bananas and my go to is the Cinnabomb. Sophie, if you don't <laughs> get your ass <laughs> out of here, you cannot let her be like that. Does she have a bite. Ryan, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Sophie is such a human, like she has such a personality and it's just so weird. She is eight years old. I actually got her around the time we started dating. Actually, I got Sophie before we started dating. Um, so yeah, she's eight and she's my little child, my little baby. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and enjoy my freaking delicious Gordo's donut, this thing. huge ass thing. Also, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I probably won't have much else to vlog tonight, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I know I was a little bit rambly today, but if you guys wanna go ahead and follow my Instagram, I'll put it right here. It's so underscore gnarly without the G, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.